everyone. Today we're going to solve a multiplication problem working it out style. Okay, and if you've seen my videos before, then you know that I like to tackle a word problem and show you my strategies along the way. So first thing I like to do is just read the problem once just to understand it better, not to actually work with the numbers yet, just to get an idea of what it's about. So this one says, Mrs. Ford is going to make six cherry pies for her friends. Each pie calls for 52 cherries. How many cherries are needed for all six pies? Okay, then I kind of just start thinking about the problem. So I've got these pies that she's making. I know what each pie takes, 52 cherries. The second pie takes 52 cherries. What about the third pie? 52 cherries. So I'm just kind of picturing it in my mind. Now I'm going to read it one more time, but this time I'm going to highlight things that would help me solve the problem. Okay, so let's try. Mrs. Ford is going to make six cherry pies for her friends. So I definitely want to highlight the six cherry pies because that's going to be important for maybe drawing a picture, maybe thinking about um, how to make a model for that. Okay, then it says each pie calls for 52 cherries. So I'm going to highlight each pie and 52 cherries because I feel like both of those are really important for this problem. How many cherries are needed for all six pies? So I'm going to highlight all six pies because I feel like then that tells me more about that I want the total cherries, I want all of them. Okay, then I like to, on the second read, I like to read the answer choices too, and maybe kind of start thinking about what sounds reasonable. So A says 58, B says 312, C says 62, and D says 302. And already I'm kind of thinking a little bit about, you know, if I have these six pies and each pie has 52 cherries, I feel like A kind of stands out as being unreasonable. What do y'all think? Yeah, it definitely, it definitely seems too small. So let's move over to the whiteboard though before we really decide and we can solve this problem. All right, so another great strategy is to, you know, we read it twice and we have a pretty good idea of what it looks like. So now I like to draw it really fast. So I have my six pies drawn. They each need 52 cherries. Of course I wouldn't wanna draw all 52 cherries. That would take me forever. So I just, Sometimes I just jot down the number and that can help me also visualize, okay, what type of problem is this? So what am I gonna do? If you see six groups of 52, then what problem does that make you think of? Okay, you got it. We're gonna be doing 52 times six. Okay, and there's several ways you can do this. You could start adding up those 52s and just find the total that way since we need to know all the cherries. Or you could use uh, a couple different multiplication strategies. So when you're seeing 52 times 6, we can break it apart into 2 times six. So as you can see up here, I see six groups of just the two. So let's count that up. What is six times two? Okay, I think you got it, 12. If you weren't quite sure, you could go two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, awesome. So two times six 
is 12. Then you can also think about the fives. What are those fives really worth though? They're not just worth five. Or if that was the case, it would just be a five and a two and that makes seven, right? So what is that five really worth? You got it 50. So now we can think of 50 times six. So we could count by fifties, right? 50 plus 50 is 100. And then another 50 is 150. 200. 250. It's kind of like just counting by fives, but with a zero on the end, right? So 250. 300. Okay, then what do you think I do with these two? These are called partial products. This, These are two parts of the answer. So what do you think I do with these two numbers? You got it. We add them. And I really like this, that it's such a friendly number. 300 plus 12 is 312. You guessed it. Okay, so that must mean that we need 312 cherries. And so which answer choice are you going to go with? Oh, we got it, B. Let me also show you, I'm going to erase this answer right here. Let me also show you with just something called the standard algorithm. Now, it's totally fine to add these up or do this partial products, but also you may start liking this. It's a shortcut. So 2 times 6 was 12, right? So you actually regroup it like you do when you add. And so you put your 1 right there, and then 5 times 6, okay, so 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, plus that extra 1, you got it, is 31, and it gets everything into the right place. So it's pretty awesome. And if you'd like a whole lesson on any of these strategies, I have a few different videos linked in the description below that you can go and check out a little bit more about these. All right, great job.